<laughs> you better cut that out, I swear to God. You better cut that out. <laughs> okay. You're like, delete it, not just cut it out. I'm not that on anything. Chicken wing, chicken wing, hot dog and bologna. <laughs> Alright guys, what is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming a sibling tag. <laughs> It's gonna be such a mess. <laughs> I'm gonna be filming a sibling tag with my sister today, inshallah. And while we do it to make things more interesting, we're going to paint. That's why I have this canvas over here and there's another one over there. But yeah. So everyone, <laughs> Rima Baji, home night. I get so many questions. I think everyone asks me those questions of where I get those paintings from, mm -hmm. and I kind of put, I kind of push it away. Like, so basically, my sister, she's like an Arabic calligraphy artist, right? Is that okay to say? Yeah. <laughs> so basically, my sister's an Arabic calligraphy artist, and she does paintings, like Arabic paintings and, and Arabic paintings. <laughs> That's basically it. She already has a background on her canvas because she wanted to do a background, but I kind of wanted to, wanted to keep things nice and simple. Uh, so that's why mine doesn't have a, a background. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do? I think I'm gonna do like Arabic. So, Baji, welcome to my talk show. Talk show? <laughs> Low distance, which is like oh, a big one. Ouch! It's like Baba style. Yeah. <laughs> First question Who is the eldest? I'm older. Okay. So, basically, in our family, we have how many of us? There's three of us, right? Mm -hmm. So, there's me. And her, and then there's an older sister who's married, so she's not here. Yeah, so you're the oldest, right? Yeah. <laughs> Who loves to eat pizza? Mm, we both do, but it's yeah, just like now. You're, you're more of a pizza person. I'm more you. of a pizza person, but now recently, I think because of like health wise, I'm just like, <laughs> health. <laughs> health, like trying to be healthy and like no more carbs kind of thing, especially like processed carbs like pizza. I was really oh. meeting for her pizza is is it yeah like especially it's all pre like made so mm -hmm. like there's extra stuff in there it's not like fresh although it's baked fresh it's not actually fresh it's not like actually actually yeah fresh. and that stuff ain't good for you i think i'm gonna draw an outline first right that's be the yeah, smart thing to yeah, do yeah yeah i think i'm gonna make a very abstract arabic too make it bigger than that what if a leg is small <laughs> she said <laughs> how are you going to celebrate your birthday this year that's actually a pretty good question, considering yesterday was my birthday. Yeah. So yesterday I turned 20 years old, and uh, it was probably like the most emotional birthday that I've ever had, right? I think so too. Yeah, it was a really good birthday too, because it was like just spent with family and stuff, you know? Even though like, we didn't do anything so big, we kind of just like, cooked food and went to the park and spent time with family. What about you? How do I want to celebrate my birthday? Yeah, this year. I mean, I love picnics and I like intimate like moments with family mm. like how we did for you i need a thinner brush yeah. i mean honestly like i never ever expect anything like genuinely anything mm -hmm. for our birthdays and i think that was just kind of like how we were growing up we didn't make it a big deal yeah. so i think just like i don't know anything that can just like bring us together and just talk and have a good time would you ever want like an extravagant birthday though no no right i don't like extravagance period i can't what about like surprises like, do you like surprises I don't know. For like me, honestly, surprises. like what happens, like or does it, I feel like it depends. Depends who it is, but like I mean, I appreciate the thought, like if someone's putting it together, like if it's family putting it together, or like a friend putting like a huge party for me, like for me, like I appreciate the thought and like the effort that they put together. But like, there's always like a bigger part of me in the back of my head that's like, uh, it's a waste. You know, you yeah. could just use all that money or like that food for something else i don't know it's just like or it, i feel like yeah it depends how much is spent on the yeah. surprise also yeah right? that's true who was your first crush between us two chris evans <laughs> chris evans he's not first crush I'm talking about like i'm talking about like pre-k have you ever told me before i don't think so i mean i told you guys i don't know if i even you were super it. discreet growing up as a kid and i still am i feel like who was your question you know I feel like someone's watching us. <laughs> they are watching us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't 
remember him, but now he's probably like some weirdo. But like when I was a kid, kid, I was like, oh, he's so cute. For where? I don't know. He was in pre-K and kindergarten, and he was like also like a weirdo. When you were in pre-K, like, I was in freaking mama's womb. <laughs> <laughs> never mind. My, my favorite, you know what? You know who my first crush is? Isabel? No, I'm talking about like celebrity crush. Oh, you have a celebrity Are we talking about celebrity crushes or like yeah, real so, life Yeah, crushes? no, celebrity crushes. Seriously? Yeah, that's so why I was like, Chris Evans. No, because you asked who was your first crush. Yeah, but as in like, you know what I mean? They're not going to know like personal people, you know? Well, who knows? Who was your first, who's your first, first crush? celebrity crush ever? Yeah. I mean, we didn't... Hmm. Aladdin. Wait, are you actually thinking about that? No, no, it wasn't Aladdin. Definitely not a cartoon. Like, I'm trying to think of Nickelodeon and stuff. Oh, probably David Henry from Wizards of the Place. Seriously? Yeah! He was David like, Henry? Yeah! Oh, you know, God. what's his name in there? Justin, right? Yeah, Justin. Justin yeah. Russo? Yeah, he was like this weirdo. And you know how I love, like, I like weirdos. The thing for weirdos? So he was just like so cute. That is weird. <laughs> Justin Russo? Yeah, oh. yeah. Like Mine was a pink Power Ranger. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah I do. The pink Power Ranger. I remember, she was pretty. Mine, yeah, she was. Her name was Kimberly. Yeah, yeah. What sweet dish does she love the most? Alright, let me guess this. Um, I want to say dark chocolate, but that's not like a Disney. dish. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it was the Miss de Chocolat and the Refrigerator. Yeah, that's like refrigerator. You take it out of the, the Refrigerator. There's, no, just one yeah, dude, there's just one TikToker who's like a French dude. You're gonna love him, and he's so funny. He's hilarious. Who's more artistic among you? You want me to answer that? Mm -hmm. I think me. No, I think we're both creative in our own ways. Yeah, but you're. I think you're more creative, like in ideas. Like you, you have creative ideas. But like I, I like, I like doing a lot of things, and like I'm such a problem solver when it comes to like DIY stuff, so like I enjoy that stuff, you know, like I'll literally, I made my whole own vanity, I did the table, I like that kind of stuff. Yeah, I know, I totally agree, yeah. Because you're always like up for a challenge when it comes to creativity, yeah. but for me it's like, I would look at like a certain project, like I don't really, I don't look to like a piece of, of furniture and be like, I, how can I creatively like design it? For me it's like, I, if I have a blank canvas, how can I, like, mm -hmm. you know, so I guess we, we definitely express it differently. Oh no, nice so far, yeah? Yeah. I need to paint more often. Painting is a metaphor of control. Yeah. Wah, wah. Wah, wah. <laughs> like, you know. Alright, who is more passionate about studies? I love studying. I used to hate it. That, that I love changed. studying also. That but... changed, but I'm very... I love learning. And <sighs> learning anything. Like, I think for me, like, I'm very... Like I told you just before, like I like learning anything and everything. So like even in class, like in college, like if I'm taking different classes, like I'll fully immerse myself in like the studies to like make the most yeah. of it. What do you want to achieve in the future? What do I want to achieve in the future? Yeah. I mean, having a happy family, a happy, be a good wife, a mother, blah, blah, blah. That's like, I know it's pretty obvious, but I think that would be an achievement to like when you have kids, like, I want, inshallah, like, my kids to, like, be proud of me as a mother. Yeah. You know, and kind of just be happy to have me That's as rare. a mother. That's really rare. Yeah. So for, like, a child to look up to parent and be like, yeah, I'm proud of my mom. Yeah. You know? I think that's I'm proud of mama. I'm so proud of mama. Yeah. But know? I think that's something, yeah, for sure. Just, like, you know, we all say our moms are amazing, but I want to feel genuinely like a good mom. And if you want your kids to give you your yeah. reason. Yeah, and I feel like that will be, like, some sort of an achievement. And I know that's so undetermined because parents, they all try their best, right? And we all are going to try our best. But it's just like, will that best be enough yeah. to see the outcome of your kids? Yeah. yeah, so for me, I think it's the same thing also. It's like, I think I just want to be a good father, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because, I don't know, I think, like, personally, for both of us, we've been exposed to so many, like, families and so many individuals that are, like, our age who just unfortunately haven't been brought up in the best way possible, you know what I mean? Or we've just been mean, we've just been mistreated. We obviously see it's a reflection of like how the parents are. And I think like it's a full on goal. Like it's such a valid goal. Like, some people don't think of it as that, that deep. That deep in the sense that, oh, I have to work on myself to be a better, not just person, you know? Everyone's just like, I need to work on myself to be a better person, a better me. But in what role, 
you know, like we we have different yeah, roles that we that's play. True. That's like, so true. Like you, you have like I have. Everyone has their roles to play. Really, like I'm a woman. I will eventually. I want to be a mom. I'm a daughter. I'm a sister. I will be a wife, and I want to play all those roles. You're a teacher. Um, yeah, a teacher, and I want to play all those roles perfectly, or not perfectly. Well, like how? Yeah, it's like how can I equip myself yeah. with those qualities that can help me achieve that level of like being the best that I can. Yeah, yeah exactly. Look at that, it looks so good. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you, you're so proud. What type of attire do you like to wear? Damn, I actually like these questions now. <laughs> Cause they're like deeper, you know what I mean? It's like questions yeah. that people actually should be listening to. I had a lot of people ask me in, in like on Instagram and stuff, like they keep asking me to like talk about the club and stuff and just like modesty in general. Um, so I mean like the way I like to wear, like how I like to wear clothes. At the beginning, like I never thought of it as such a big deal. Like even now, sometimes like I really don't care sometimes like how I look like when I'm outside. Like if I'm, you know, if things don't match or whatever, like it does, it's, it's in terms just of perspective, colors. you know? Mm -hmm. But like, obviously in Islam, modesty is, is like the dominant um, principle that is, mm -hmm. you know, mainly taught. Mm -hmm. and yeah, so like in Islam, modesty is it's super important, right? Because I feel like as a Muslim, you're openly practicing religion. Then, like the the attire that you wear and like just the the level of modesty that you hold is important, right? And I think like it's funny to say this though because ugh, the topic of culture and religion, the famous topic of culture and religion, always like the clash of that. But I think Islamically. Islamic dressing and Islamic dress code is just simple as it is modest, you know, no matter what culture it is. But what's like the definition of like modest in Islam? Like what, what would be like the description, you know what I mean? Because some people are like, oh, I'm covering everything, but it's like skin tight, you know what I mean? Yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So, I mean, this it's, there's no like ultimate definition. Like it's not black it. or white. Yeah, it's not. I mean, some of it to is a certain extent. to a certain extent because you know, modesty is not just expressed through clothes. You know, it's a kind of quality that shines through your intentions, your your actions, and all of that. Um, the importance of how our intentions are, you know? And I never really understood that until I was older, but I always heard, like, check your intentions at the beginning, yeah. in the middle, and at the end I feel like, yeah, because uh, until you're older and you actually have intentions of yeah. doing something, you don't understand the value of like what it actually means yeah you know the prophet tells us that we have to cover um for girls for example we cover our clothing until our wrists and then until our ankles are included you know and our hair is also included but then that's just like fiqh wise like lawful wise how much you're supposed to be covering but you have to also understand the wisdom behind that and understanding the wisdom behind some of those like um commandments is where you can really perfect your deen mm -hmm. because if there's no answer to every yeah because if you don't have a reason as to yeah. why you're doing what you're doing yeah. then you don't have the factor yeah. of strengthening yeah. that thing you know what yeah. i mean comment down below if you guys want to see a podcast with me and my sister i'll be actually be really, really beneficial appearance is just vanity that's just what people see so at the end of the day allah is going to judge you through your heart right so yes in the sense that um whatever is coming from within and i think in those senses i feel like shaitan creeps up the most in that listening to this one mukti man thingy and he was like sometimes shaitan makes halal yeah. i'm sorry he makes haram look halal yeah so basically he'll use halal as the bait yeah. but he'll mask it with the haram yeah, that's word. literally what I, that's such other words of exactly what i was saying more just recently than like before i've been super careful with yeah. just how i deal with people online whether it's like commenting or hyping someone up yeah, online, you know what I mean? Because a lot of that, it, it, it stimulates like subconscious thoughts and it stimulates like other people seeing that as something different, you know what I mean? And it can be misleading by a mile. All right, we're gonna wrap up this video because it's getting way too long. The lighting is kind of going down. So I finished my painting. This is my painting. I'm actually super proud of what I did, dude. Like high key, super happy. So if you guys don't know, Sacred Clothing is my clothing line. I finally decided on the logo, which is going to be antlers. But yeah, I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of what I did, dude. How do you think I did? On a scale of one to ten. On a scale of one to ten, probably like a eight or seven. Really? <laughs> seven. 
yeah, I'm actually super happy with how it came out. I hope you guys enjoyed the video so much with me and my beloved sister. If you like the video, then please subscribe and drop a like and comment. If you made it this far, comment. What should they comment? Be kind. Comment be kind down below if you guys made it to the end of the video. And...